What's up guys, my name is Matt and welcome back to another episode of my Pokemon Diamond Nuzlocke. In the last episode, a lot of stuff happened. And I'm not happy about some of that stuff. But we're in a quote unquote better situation now. Because more stuff happened in between videos. And I'm sort of not ready to battle the gym yet. I'll show you what happened. So, first off, Danny's sort of dead. I got him all the way up to level 47. Spent hours leveling him up. And then he just goes and dies to a crit from a, like a Gastrodon. So that's not okay. Also, I kind of got revenge on Azelf by capturing its friends. So yeah, now I got, I got these guys just in case. But, none of them have been added to the team. And if you could do math, which I hope we can do math at this point. Yeah, I mean, if you can remember, I, I now have five. Well, I remembered where the Earthquake team was, and I didn't have an encounter down there. So my encounter was a Garchomp. Well, it was a Gabite. But now we got Biter, the Gabite here at the moment, with Sand Attack, Dragon Rage, Sandstorm, and Takedown. Not a good move set in the slightest. But hopefully, as we level him up, it'll be better. So today's episode is actually going to be just some chill grinding, because that's what we need right now. We need a lot of it. I also remember the VSC Seeker exists. Go back up. So now I can just be a beast fisherman nonstop. I've also beaten the fisherman that killed um, Bing Bong so many times. Stay in, actually. This is actually going to be the entire video, it's just me really watch fish, honestly. I might go into the grass at some point. Slash, there we go, that's a move that's actually pretty good. And I gotta rock around a little bit to recharge. I really like this music sped up. There's some music in, this, in the games that like that lose their lose their quality of the speed. But like that music, like the rap music here is pretty good. Battle music is one of those that loses it a little bit, to be honest with Honestly, fine with this because we need to do this. Um, I'm to... <gasps> the Sonic movie, the Sonic freaking movie. I just remembered that I saw that twice already, and it's it's a masterpiece. No one can tell me otherwise. Like that, it's. Cinema cinematography gold, dude. The only thing I did not like about it was just the music, because like most of the time it just didn't feel like there was music in the movie, except for the beginning, and then where Jim Carrey was epically dancing, I might add. But besides that, besides the, that, was, it's just the music was just bland. But besides that, the movie was phenomenal. Jim Carrey himself. National treasure, dude. dude. We need we need more people like Jim Carrey in the world. I'm just saying. And 
and might I say, his acting in there was pretty good. But it might be hard for you to realize because the doctor thinks you're basic. I, I wanna I honestly just wanna learn the lines of the Sonic movie and just quote them to the point where like everyone hates me for just quoting the Sonic movie. Which might be hard to do. But yeah. Overall Sonic movie I, I give it I give it an eight out of ten personally. I mean there's I mean it's it's a good movie, don't get me. Don't get me wrong, it's a fantastic movie. But it's just basically just the music that that lowers it for me. Honestly, that's just the music. I take music very seriously when rating stuff. And I kinda have to because music's my major. <laughs> You're an idiot, Gyarados. He could have just killed Kimba in a heartbeat. Yeah, right there, he could have killed Kimba. That was way too close. What are, what are, the, what are the things happening recently? Uh, nothing much happened, actually, I can think about it. Uh, I mean, I only saw the Sonic movie, it's about it. I mean, college is still going on for me, but I'm just college. Just trying to make it through on it at this point. I'm trying not to fail all my classes, but yeah. You're kidding me! You're kidding me! A little bit actually, but not 100% totally sorry. I mean, it was an accident. But I can't, I don't remember if that was a crit or not. But I'm actually sorry. Uh, I'm sorry, Kimba. You deserve better. You deserve way better than that. You're doing so well. Why do I suck at grinding? Time to go out of, um, time to go out of one of the legendaries. <laughs> Just because I don't want to, honestly, I don't want to grind up another, another legend, another mod up all the base level. Kim, but you were a good soldier. You did great. You don't get to go in the legend box because that's only for legends. Give me your item though. Now the question is, do I want to add Mesprit? Oh, yeah. Actually, we go either way because we we kind of need the bulk, but we also need the heavy hitting at this point. I feel like I gotta go with Mesprit. Courage. If you don't know why I named it Courage. I actually named them after the Triforce, like the different parts of the Triforce from Zelda. So the, the different parts of the Triforce are power, courage, and knowledge, or wisdom. So with those, basically. Oh, I have no surf lines. That's fantastic. Uh, but, uh, hmm. Man, I have like no special moves. I don't need Thunderbolt on you. Power. No, the power is not even determined for this. Having a good, having a large type of is pretty good, actually. I'm, I'm gonna have to actually keep Lucky Charm, aren't I? I'm actually gonna have to keep Lucky Charm. You're actually kidding me. 
Oh my gosh. Whatever. I just need to heal. But I can't believe I actually have to keep a lucky charm on my Mesprit at this point to protect me from it. And rightfully so. Because crits have killed, like, almost all of the Pokemon that have died. Stupid times two crits in this game. Question of the day. Question of the day, actually. Uh, who is your, who's your, who's been your favorite, uh, of our deceased members of the team? The ones that have tragically been lost to us. Personally... Out of every tragic demise that has occurred, uh, I would actually have to give. I have to give it to. I have to give it to uh, Waddle of my Napoleon. Tragically passed away last episode. But there's been a lot of great Pokemon that died. We had the Saridia. I don't remember. I mean, I remember them. I'm just not good with remembering names. We had Tokyo, the Drift, Drift Blim, actually. Yeah, because I remember some of the names. And then we had Seahawk, the first death. Tragic as it may be. Tragic as all these losses in. What was your favorite Kimba? The one who was cursed and killed all my teammates. During the first... Not the first, the third gym. We've had a lot of great losses in this game so far. And part of me feels like we're not... We're not, we're not at the end yet. We, we, we gotta keep going. For them. We gotta avenge the fallen. And we're gonna avenge them by slaughtering every fish in the sea. Particularly these fishermen's fish. To the point where their fish are just sushi. We're literally just gonna beat them up in the terminal of sushi. That's basically what's gonna happen. Also, all my TMs are gone, I think, at this point. Let's see what HMs. Got all of you again. You want all the Garadai. Garadai, Garadasses. So you're pretty good. Someday it'll give me the boost. Oh, that doesn't even feel great. Somehow, the, some of the like, later half of this series has turned pretty dire. Like, too much has happened. Way too much has happened. I'm, honestly, I've... I kinda wish I did a randomizer now, because maybe half the stuff wouldn't have had, but also wouldn't have had all these amazing teammates. I definitely plan on doing a randomizer probably next, but that's probably gonna be after a different series. I'm, I'm still trying to figure that out. Because college, since college has been taking forever for me to finish the series. Uh, yeah, I'm definitely doing another a different series after this. Let's just, also, I just realized uh, it doesn't do four times damage in this game. Like, not like not standard, but like, I just realized that um, my jump kick actually doesn't do half. Perfect. Honestly, I've just gotta get the other teammates up to high enough level. Like, I can get everyone past level 50, it'd be pretty good, yes, me. As of standing, actually, we have three, mem three members of level 50 who'll probably get up higher due to leveling up Bebe, Fragrant, and Fighter. But, yeah. yeah as, long, as, as long as they're level 50 or close enough to level 50, as long as their average is 
50 or above, then I'll be fine with this. That's about it, honestly. And then we gotta pray that the Vulcanary doesn't destroy our souls. Because I would most like, I would like to keep my soul at this point. I'd also like to keep all of my remaining mods. Because I like all of them. Uh, sorry, I just had a brain fart there. Just kind of like, how do you play game? How do you play game? This episode's probably been a little bit boring for all you guys, but I I kind of need to record. Yeah, like I try and keep like one video ahead, and to do that and upload on whatever day this is, then I gotta do this. And as Thanos would say, it's a small price to pay for salvation. And I completely agree with this. Dragon Claw, ooh. Fighter's actually level 33. He keeps getting close to being able to um, start entering the battle, but now this way I don't know. Reversal, no. I need to think about my counters to Volkner. Thinking about it. So, Bebe, well, if he has. There's a lot of electric steel types, so Bebe will be able to probably deal with it. He probably has a Magnezone, actually, because Magnezone was introduced in this game. I know he has a Luxury, which, if we can get a Garchomp by that, I think Garchomp will also 50. I might have to get the Garchomp. But if we get the Garchomp, then they'll be immune to all of his attacks, basically, all of his electric attacks. Perfect. And, um, Dragon Resist, like, also Dragon Resists so much, so Perpetual, the Dialga, will be able to do a lot, like, be able to resist most of the hits as well. So, yeah, I think, also, uh, Skunk Tank has, uh, gosh, baby, come on, Skunk Tank has, uh, Flamethrower, which will do pretty good to steel types if he has this as well. Which I can almost guarantee he will have the steel types. Because, like, that's one of the most common type pairs. It's up there, like, steel electric's pretty common. It's also up there with that uh, grass poison. Because <laughs> whenever the game breaks things of a grass type, it's like, you know what? You look like a poison type too. I'm surprised there aren't more grass poison types, honestly. But actually, just at the beginning, there was like there was Bellsprout, Oddish, Bulbasaur. Uh, actually, that might be it from the beginning. Oh. man. <laughs> yeah, but I mean that's still a lot. They've added more along. I'm going to call that a video here. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. A second. Out of all of our tragic deceased members, 
which one has been your favorite it has been the question of the day i have to give it to the, our legend waddles here she held it down for the longest time but it's time she got a good rest and then we also lost bing bong we lost kimba a uh, wild you were good for a brief period of time when you were around phoenix that's where your name was tokyo seahawk danny knuckleball which none of you met <laughs> But yeah. But yeah. Sometimes you gotta let go of things you love. I don't like it either, but it has to be done. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a comment down below about which of our of our lot of our late team members has been your favorite, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.